it's in fun back here. I was out playing with my T7i today and I found a new feature that is super useful that I thought was going to be kind of crap because on the cell phones it is and it's the digital zoom and let me tell you it has changed my opinion on digital zoom. Wait till you see this. This right here this is what we're trying to look at. Can you see it? <laughs> this is where I was have the tripod set up with the T7i and then here yeah, let's get in there there it is that little tiny thing that is with the digital zoom on I'm using the 55 by 250 millimeter lens and I'm about five feet away in that video and you see that fills the screen perfect and it's crystal clear um, the only thing you have to do is kind of play with the manual focus, which I'll show you. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that and why that's so awesome. We're going to start by having it set to the movie mode on the dial and then changing it to auto. So this is in auto everything. And this is the little tiny car we're going to focus on. The same settings will apply in photo mode also. So from this basic screen, go ahead and hit your Q to pull up the options. Right there, now we have to change two settings. Here's your digital zoom. We wanna get that to light up so it's on. So first we have to change the image stabilization to off. Right there, then we have to change the frames per second. We need to drop that down to 29.97 because it will not work at 60 frames per second. So once those two things are changed, if you look right here, your digital zoom will light up, there it goes. Now your digital zoom is lit up and you can actually select the option to digital zoom, which is right here. Now you wanna change that from off to three to 10 times. All right, and now you've enabled digital zoom and you can now zoom in digitally. And unlike cell phones, this actually stays pretty clear and gives you a really nice image. Cell phones get all blurry when you zoom in, that's what I thought this would do, and look at that. Awesome, now your time's 10, fully zoomed in. So at this point here, let's use the optic, the lens zoom, zoom in from 55, let's take it all the way into the 250, and look, we are looking at the tires. And this is the recorded footage on the actual T7i, fully zoomed. Now I do have this on the tripod. If you don't have this on a tripod, it gets really shaky. As you can see here, I'm barely touching it and see how shaky it is and I'm barely touching it. So you definitely need a tripod for this type of zooming, but look at how clear that is. That is so cool. So let's look at another example here. We've seen the tires. Now look, let's look at this little tiny knot that is all the way back here. This little tiny knot in the fence that is right here. Now look at that. I mean, you saw how far away that looked. And here's my hand in there to give you some idea as far as how clear it is. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Just use your tripod. Get your, you know, you can, like I said, you could use the kit lens or I use the 55 by 250 just to get that little extra. Actually, a lot extra. That's what you can do. That's so cool. I can't wait to get out and try a new thing. And as you can see in that spider video, and that thing was this big, and I'm like right in on it. So cool. All right. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm just learning on the fly here and showing you as I learn. Let's look at this spider, because that is so cool. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. See you next time.